Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with our Bitcoin TA. We have currently our top here right at the resistance at $9,400. As I told you in yesterday's video, in case that you opened up a long position here when we had this breakout from $9,150, this was the first target to be reached here at around $9,400. And here is where we have to see if we are able to break it and also build up a support above of it or not. So currently we got rejected right here at the resistance of this bigger falling wedge that we are in currently. If we zoom out, you can see that currently we are right at the top and a little retracement to the downside is very likely. Not maybe here down to the bottom towards $8,600, but it is of course possible in case of a major dump. But currently I'm more focused here of a retest of a possible uh, moving average here or maybe here the new support that is coming down here towards $9,100 because previously it acted as a resistance and now is acting as a support. You can see also that the RSI in the one hour currently is right at the 50 level and stochastic oversold. So we should see in this area here very soon a bounce to the upside and a pot potential uh, retest here of $9,400. The thing is that here in the one hour, it looks like that we should see a bounce, but we lost already the 20 moving average. So it is possible that first we're going down to complete here the retracement down to the new support at $9,100. And this is where I'm planning now to open up a little long position here over on BTR, most likely with Tether. And maybe if we continue to drop lower also here on Bybit with some uh, Bitcoin as well, because uh, I think we could be gearing up here for a potential breakout here of this falling wedge very soon. And in that case, I think we will see a very nice retest of this $9,500 and potentially also break it because the target of the breakout here would be uh, towards $10,000, also even up to $11,000. But this is what we have to see once we're going to break out from $9,000. $400. So if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we're right at the bottom here. So as I told you, in theory, we should see a bounce here, but I think we still have some room left to the downside. Also here, the MACD is still shifted to the downside. We didn't see yet a bullish cross here. So I think we will see a, a possible overshoot to the downside here from the Bollinger Band. And that's why we have to go over to the four hour time frame. Because here you can also see that we got rejected here at the 200 moving average at the four hour time frame, which is also coinciding with our resistance up here at $9,400. And my target is to retest at least here the 20 moving average, which is at 9,190. And this is also where I'm gonna set up here my first entry over here on Bityard at $9,200 for my uh, little short position. I'm just putting here high leverage and small amounts to um, make some gains here over on Bityard because also here you get a lot of bony uh, if you have um, high volume. So you don't need a lot of tether here to trade with, uh, but if you trade with high volume, you can get up to $260 on bonus here. Um, and if you're interested to trade also here on Bityard, you find the link to sign up down below here in the video description. So with my link, you can get some sign up bonus up to $260 and now Let's put here in the trade, we put a limit trade with a long 20x leverage and $25 uh, with a price entry of $9,200 because I think here most likely we will retrace at least down towards $9,200 to $9,100 to um, potentially see a bounce over there and then uh, test again $9,400 and possible also break it. So let's click here on a buy and confirm the order. So my order is here pending. As soon as as soon as the price is reaching 9200, my order will get executed. And if it's going lower till $9,000, I'm going to scale in in case that the trade will go to the other side, then my stop loss here will uh, get hit towards uh, uh, 8970. 
so I will get out with a very small loss. So that is okay for me because at the moment the chance to make some gains is higher. Uh, the risk is quite low currently that we will potentially go again towards uh, 9k and lower. But I think a possible retest of 9200 to 9100 is very likely also based here in the 4 hour time frame because the 20 moving average is here at 9190. I think most likely we will go down to retest it. Also, the RSI is way above the 50 level. So I think here a little retracement back down to the 50 level and possibly also bounce from it here towards 9,190 is very likely. Also, stochastic is now shifted to the downside after being overbought. So here it looks like that we're go gonna see first a little correction before a potential retest of the resistance and then maybe break it. And if we have a look on the Bollinger Band in the four hour, here after overshooting it to the upside we retrace back into the first middle line so here also we should see a bounce right now otherwise the target would be here the next middle line here of around nine thousand one hundred sixty dollars and this range is where i'm gonna put in a few long positions in case that we're gonna bounce from it and retest here this nine thousand four hundred dollar the thing is currently the MACD is still shifted to the upside which is good but in case that we're going to start to trade sideways here or even start to trade sideways here between 9200 and 9100 dollar we possibly going to have here a bearish cross in the MACD which could indicate that we could even fall down towards 8950 dollars so again towards 9000 based here on the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour. And now let's go over to the daily time frame. Because here you can see that yesterday we had successfully a close above the 20 daily moving average, which is very bullish. We closed above 9,250 and currently we are testing this moving average again. So if we have now this confirmation that the 20 daily moving average is our new support, then we should be good to go here to stay between the 20 and 50 daily moving average, which is currently right at the resistance and see a possible breakout here to the upside from this falling wedge so if we are staying and squeezing within this channel i think we could see a breakout pretty soon here to the upside only if we failed and we are closing again a daily candle below the 20 daily moving average so below 9250 then in theory we could be heading again towards 8600 dollars and potentially also test here the 200 daily moving average but this is a risk that i'm gonna take now with this a little a long position um and that's why i think the worst case is at the moment that we're really falling again towards eight thousand six hundred dollar and bounce from the 200 daily moving average here we have the rsi right at the 50 level so casting in neutral territory so it's really depending how we're going to close today if we are able to close above the 20 daily moving average or not so watch out for today's close my friends and now let's have a look on the Bollinger Band. Here also after we closed yesterday here in the upper area again, we came down to retest the first middle line. So we could also drop down here to retest the second middle line here at around 9170 and then bounce again to the upside. This is very likely, but here also very important that today we're going to close, bless you, in the upper area here. So between 9250 and a nine thousand six hundred dollar so that's why i'm saying that it's very likely that we will see this nine thousand five hundred to nine thousand six hundred dollar retest pretty pretty soon and i think if we're able to go up here then also we're gonna see most likely 10k and higher very soon again because here it looks like that we're gonna have a bullish cross in the MACD in the daily which is very bullish and if we're going over to the weekly time frame the weekly is still looking great so here i'm expecting some big um, moves to the upside still because we are trading above the 20 weekly moving average which currently is at eight thousand seven hundred dollar so we could drop down there and even have a week below but the important thing is that we're going to close these weekly candles above eight thousand seven hundred and we should be good to go here to the upside and all what we have seen currently is just accumulation before the next big move to the upside and here also the RSI is above the 50. Stochastic is still a bit overbought, but we can also stay in this area for many weeks. So the stochastic doesn't have necessarily to come down here immediately. The important thing is that we are staying in the upper area and also the RSI is staying above the 50 
level so here the weekly is still looking pretty nice and even here in the bollinger band you can see that we are still fighting here the first middle line as soon as we're gonna close here weekly candle above nine thousand three hundred dollar then i think we are good to go here towards uh, eleven thousand dollar i think this is very likely to come maybe even before a, a bigger a dump so it is possible that first bitcoin is going up again here towards eleven thousand before we could see a bigger correction towards 8k and lower but I think the more we are staying above $9,000, uh, the less um, likelier it is that we will see those price levels uh, again. So if Bitcoin is, is going to stay stable like this and maybe even retest 10K and 11K for the long term, it will be very bullish and uh, maybe we will not anymore see these price levels below nine thousand dollar but of course it's still in the cards also depending how we're going to close the next couple of weeks because the MACD is still shifted to the upside we still have a lot of room to the upside but in case that we're going to stay uh, here in this range between uh, 9300 and possibly even down here at 8200 we could just start to trade sideways here and also have a bearish cross here in the MACD which could indicate a potential bigger dump towards 6k this would be of course bearish for the next couple of weeks but currently at the time of recording i'm bullish for the short term and also for the long term and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now remember that we have this ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway running on our bityard sponsored video the video you can find at the end of this video is popping up on top of the screen here don't forget to go to that video where it says subscription video you can also find it in my playlist where it says ten dollar giveaway you see always the newest subscription video you have to go over there and put any comment you want and also your bitcoin address very important because we're gonna select based on this video at the end of the week a winner so thank you very much for watching my friends if you need any kind of exchange account you find all the links for bityard bybit femex primex pt all below here in the video description with my links you support the channel and also you can get some bony for example on bybit currently you can get up to 90 dollars on femex 72 dollars and on bityard you can get based on your trading volume up to 260 dollars and the last bonus you get here you can get it directly in cash so you can also withdraw it immediately into your tether wallet and i'm doing also the live streams over on twitch so if you have twitch follow me also over there the link is down below here and feel free to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome we have a great community so shout out to all the members over there on uh, discord Thank you very much for watching my friends. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and we see us all in the next one. Bye.